Hey everybody, this is Zeph from AODF. It's going to walk everybody through how to install the Ray Minimap mod and the Zombie Flying mod and how to use the MC Patcher program as well as clean out your Minecraft directory file. So what we're going to do today is kind of the easy way of going through the Minecraft jar file and doing everything the hard way. So first, we're going to open up our Internet Explorer or web browser. I'm going to go to Minecraft.net and download the Minecraft .exe file, which is right here. I'm going to skip that step because I already have it. If you already had Minecraft installed and you want to blow it out, you just have to go to your computer's C drive, go down to Users, and this is all in Windows 7 and Vista, your username, and if you do not see app data, you just have to tap the uh, Alt key so that you get these little up here. Press that and then folder options, go to view, and then just hit show hidden files, folders, and drives. And then it should show up there. Go to app data, roaming, and there's your Minecraft folder. Since I'm going to basically do it from scratch, we're just going to delete that since that contains all of your Minecraft files and close that. <clears throat> now we can open up Minecraft, log into it for the first time, let it download and install itself. After that's done and you verify that you are running 1.0.0, you can close that and now we can start doing the fun stuff. It's easy if you install or if you download all of these files, put them on your desktop into one folder for a process I will show you later. You do not need this folder. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get it out of there because we don't need it. If you don't know where to get this, <coughs> we're just going to go to Google and if you type in REI Mini, I can spell, that'd be great. Uh, this one's actually the first one that comes up. Raise Mini Map. You can download it from here. Right there. If you want to know where MC Patcher is, type in MC Patcher. First one on the list. If you click it, and it's down here, downloading from Windows. And the zombie mod is also the first one on the list. And you can download that from right there. Easy stuff. First thing we're going to do is run the MC Patcher 2.2.2, which should be the latest version as of that date. The reason that I said to download this all to the desktop is coming up. Normally you would uncheck random mobs if you don't have a good computer. Uh, when you play multiplayer, um, sometimes the mobs can glitch out and you can have a couple dozen of them on your screen at one time. And this will sometimes lag your computer out if you're trying to run it on uh, higher graphics. Yeah, that's a oxymoron for Minecraft. <clears throat> so normally I just turn on HD textures, HD font, and better grass. Now we're going to go down here to the plus sign, hit that. And instead of going through your C drive and trying to find all this through the Java Explorer, you can actually just go the whole way to the top and it should go to your desktop. There's my folder where I downloaded everything, and here's the Ray Minimap mod that I'm going to install. Click it and make sure it's the zip file. Don't uncompress it, otherwise, it's not going to work. Hit open. You're going to get uh, like a hierarchy view. Open. If you were to check something here, you can always hit cancel, but basically you want to make sure that that very first line is checked. Um, if you had, uh, for example, a zip file within a zip file within a zip file, you could actually um, select which one. Like if you put all of your mods in one zip file, you can do it the hard way. <coughs> After you do that and it starts to pull out all the data, you just hit OK. Don't add or delete anything here. And now it's in the list. After it's in the list, make sure you select what you want. Hit patch and you're done. If you wanted to come in here and remove one of these later, you can actually just do that and hit unpatch and then patch. And 
it will remove what you uncheck. So if you install something like a texture pack and it doesn't work correctly, you can take it out. Next thing we're going to do is install Zombie Mod. If you're running Windows 7 or Windows Vista, you need to right click this and run as administrator. Unless they fix it, uh, if you were to run it without administrator, it will try to work, but it will fail. And it just will fail, and you'll have to exit it and come back in. <coughs> this actually does take a while to load up. It's going to ask you if it's going to want 1.0.0 or 1.8.1.1. You select 1.0.0 and hit continue. And basically, you wait now because it's going to check for a newer and updated version of it. Um, Although it's saying that there's a newer version out here, I did download the latest version, so it's going to warn me. I'm just going to say no, I don't want to update it, but you theoretically could if you wanted to. And we're actually at 3, this should be 3.2, because I just downloaded this last night. And I'm just going to say no. <coughs> this is the fun stuff here. Basically, you need to pick four keys, which key you want to use to toggle fly mode on and off, which key you want to go up, which key you want to go down, and which key, if you hold in, will modify your speed. It'll either slow you down or speed you up. So basically I just use G as my toggle because it's next to the WASD. Fly up, which I usually use R for up and F for down. And the toggle speed modifier, which is the key that you're going to hit and hold whenever you want to fly faster or actually it's just toggle now. I don't think I said that before. So we're just going to select a key, and I think I'm just going to hit B. I tried V earlier, and it didn't work for me for some reason. <coughs> you can choose something up here, like slow, medium, or fast, which is just a preset to all these speeds right here, but you still have to put your keys in. Uh, their vertical movement speed, I usually leave about there. Otherwise, you over, if you go into a cavern, you can go up and down too fast, and it's a pain in the butt. Movement speed multiplier, which is how fast you move faster when you're in fly mode. You can actually make it move slower too. Um, I usually leave that at about there at 5%. And the movement speed multiplier with speed modifier, which is how much faster it will move faster upon this or slower upon this when you press this key. And usually, I uh, just for giggles, max that out. If it works, and it hasn't worked for me, this is just what it'll say in the chat, uh, not to everybody, just to yourself, when you activate and deactivate fly mode. I just leave it default, it doesn't matter to me. Hit download and install. It says it installed successfully, hit OK. You can close that and run Minecraft. Log in again. And we're going to try to connect to my AODF server. It may give me an error. Sometimes it actually will give you an error. like that, <coughs> which generally happens, um, it's a bug with the new version of Minecraft that came out. They supposedly are trying to fix it, um, probably sometime before next Christmas. <coughs> you can either get away with that by, if you get it while you're logging into a stored server, just go to Direct Connect, log in, log out, and try stored server again, and it usually works, or vice versa. So, well, storage server is working good for me. Some people it doesn't work. Now that we're in, it's going to make it brighter out. We can just press G, which is my hotkey. And now I'm flying. And when you're flying, you do have a speed multiplier, which does make you go a little bit faster. And if I were to press B, B doesn't seem to be working for me. I'm pretty sure that's what I selected. But we did have this problem before. There's a slight bug in it, and it will. Uh, perhaps somebody can figure out what it is and leave in the comments. So, but that's um, that's pretty much it. And I have things because I was on the server before. That's not because of what we did. So, I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. I will answer it the best I can. And um, 
basically have fun, build some stuff, and uh, don't get too bored. <laughs>